Hello guys and welcome back to Chesterfield episode, yes, okay. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming as Possible here with, yes, Chesterfield, not England in this episode. Yes guys, if you tuned in to the episode of England and stuff like that, thank you so much for doing that. It was a little bit different. If you're liking that format and stuff like that, please down in the comments guys, let me know um, if, if that's something you want to see um, or if you want to see maybe an England and a Chesterfield match in one episode, things like that. Just let me know guys, like um, your feedback is valuable to how we can like, you know, obviously move forward with the channel and stuff for that and um, we've got West Ham and PSG in today's episode if you didn't tune in for the England one you won't know that but yeah that is what is going to be in today and um, we have played obviously Everton we beat them 4-0 um uh was it because I'm trying to think what the last episode was it was Leeds and Porto wasn't it like so we've only had the one game in between and um yeah let's see if we can continue our, our great run at the moment which we're on looking really really strong at the moment we are sitting in, in number one spot in the Premier League at the moment uh, Liverpool and Manchester United as you can see have already played they played each other Manchester United beating Liverpool by one goal to nil so yeah um the, the rivalry there the M62 rivalry um is still strong but they're both on the same points now which is like you know but it's done us the world of good really in the fact that us and Arsenal now got like a little bit of a gap like um but hopefully we can continue that gap with a win over West Ham let's see how we do so guys yes it's back from international duty and um I've got to put my like you know club like hat on as it were and um like take us into this one we're going playing away so we're going to be going a little bit defensive on this one with the 5-3-2 formation and as you can see it's a 4-4-2 from West West Ham, they've got some pretty decent players actually. West Ham looking fairly good in there, like with the likes of um, Arigi and Dolberg as their strike partnership and stuff, you know. So, yeah, we've got to be like, you know, a bit careful of that one. We've got Timo Horn in goal, we've got Arifi, Upamakano, and Danso playing as our back three. Then Marsden and Oli Clay. Oli Clay actually playing as, as a, on the right side rather than the left. Um, Neto, Drea, and Unkunku in the midfield. Charlie Lawrence and Mark Appleby are up top. Well, the two guys for us up top. Fantastic for England, Luke Dreyer. Um, I gave him like his first cap. He performed fairly like and fairly well. Nothing like apps, you know, nothing to like write home about. But he was he was solid, you know, and that's that's what it, it comes down to. So, and he's also sent me a message like um, right via email saying he was chuffed to bits to get um, his first England call up. So, like I say, we are at the London Stadium. We are away from home, and let's see um, how um, we we fare against um, West Ham. So, it's a chance here early on from the corner and it's come across and Origi nearly puts it away there but it was blocked and um, they've still managed to keep possession Dreyer though intercepts that one we're knocking this ball around nicely keeping control and, and possession of the ball letting West Ham like have to run around and try and get it we'll, we'll tire them out it's a good ball across here to Harry Marsden now Marsden trying to pick someone out in the box. He's picked out. Ollie Clay goes for the initial shot. It bounced back off the keeper, and Appleby has managed to not um, net his third goal of the season. And um, yeah, the two full box um, or wing backs in this in this formation playing really well here. As Marsden um, picks out um, his other opposite wing back, Ollie Clay on this side goes for a blasting shot. Good save initially from Ariola, but it falls nicely to Appleby, and he slots it home. So we are at half time. It's a goal to nil. Um, is is the scoreline? Not uh, many shots in that first half. A lot of possession from West Ham, but they've not really done anything with it. But it's nice to see that we've got three shots, all three of them being on target. Let's not get too complacent in the second half, and let's like you know, um, go out there and make sure that we get our three points. Played out to the wing, Devoe now. Can we stop him from getting the ball in? We can't. Oh, and that could is that a free kick or a penalty? It is a free kick. It was close to that corner there. Dreyer, they, yeah, got a little bit. Ooh, that is right right on the line. Wow. Well, not on the line because of, it would be a penalty, but played into the box and initially played away. Ollie Clay now can push this one and get it away from our goal. And he's still. Oh, and he's taken out there. Surely that's a yellow card. So free kick, and there's a great opportunity here as Kiana Hoover steps over this one and it hits the wall, but it's come back to him. But then we've got a breakaway here as Charlie Lawrence can have. We can get them on the counter attack. We're away here. Charlie's off on his own, though. Is he going to go for it by himself? He is, and it's hit the side net in, unfortunately. He does it far too often um, by just 
going by himself rather than looking for a, a player in the box. And there's a chance here as, as Chibalas now plays this one back to Dembele. Played out here, Devoe now. I've got a feeling West Ham will probably get a good opportunity to, to get this equaliser as we come towards the end of this game. We are under a little bit of pressure here, but you can understand that. They're the home side, they're pushing for it. It's Hoover plays this one across. Bracalo plays it out here to Devoe. Knocks this one in. Cassidy's there, and there is that equaliser. I just had a feeling it was coming. It just, it just, yeah, just had that sort of feel about it. The way they were just like pressuring us, and we just kind of like didn't get, should have got a tackle in there, didn't get one, and we just didn't watch the run of Cassidy. Yeah. And we've been penalised right at the end here. Um, we should, but it's our own fault. We should have scored more goals than just the one. Um, we've had the opportunity to do so, and we haven't done it. And it's going to fall down to a draw. And yeah, a little bit disappointed with that. Um, conceding late on, um, just because we just literally just switched off. We should have got a tackle in. But when you look at it, I suppose yeah, a draw is fairly even on that one. Um, maybe West Ham will be feel a little bit hard done by, but. Hey, you know, I want three points every time we go out on the field. So, um, be Arsenal have beaten, as you just see just at the bottom here, but Arsenal have beaten Southampton, so they are on the same point as now. There's only goal difference that is separating us, but we've got a much, much superior like goal difference to what Arsenal have got. And, um, yeah, we've got... The two of us have got a little bit of a gap, like, you know what I mean, to the third place, like, um, Liverpool. So, um, we're doing all right. We have not lost a game yet. We've had nine games already in the Premier League this season, and we are yet to lose. Um, the same goes for Arsenal, so... Yeah, I think we've started the campaign really well. I don't think we're going to win it. I, don't, I honestly don't think we're going to win it. I just think, you know, the fact that we're in that position gives us a very good, strong foothold in the fact that we can finish within that top four. Right, here are the two lineups. We've only had two days since the West Ham game, so there's been quite a few changes that's been made due to late fitness levels. So we've got Timo Horn in goal. We've got Cruz, Arifi, Upen Meccano and Oli Clay as the back four. Neto and Unkunku are going to play in the midfield with um, Kina back from injury. He's going to be playing in the cam. Carl Warner and Baptista are our two wingers and then we've got Vestergogen is going to be playing um, up top. Um, as for the um, lineup from PSG, they're playing a 4-2-3-1 as well. Now, I was checking on this goalkeeper here. He's actually from Vietnam, which is like a, a, a surprise, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, he looks pretty decent, um, their keeper. But yeah, he's a Vietnamese like, player. They've got Grimaldo, they've got Laporte, Makinos, yeah, they've got some decent... Frankie de Jong is in there. They've got Komen, Raheem Sterling, uh, Danny Olmo. I'm not sure what this guy, Chentov, Chentouf or Chentouf or whatever, um, young French guy, like, you know what I mean, that, that's in there as well. So, um, yeah, not not sure about him, um, but it, stats wise, he looks decent. Um, but like we've got some like key players, obviously in that size, it's going to be interesting how we can get past this um, back four because it's pretty strong, right? Um, let's see how we do against um, obviously the the favourites in this group. Um, can we get a result at home? I think it's the only best opportunity we've got. I think away. I think we'll. We, I don't think we've got much of a prayer, but let's see how we do. So um, we're at half time. I well, there's been no highlights. Not that I've edited any out or anything like that. There's literally been no highlights. I don't think I've had that so far when it's gone like a complete half and there's been nothing, no highlights whatsoever. There was no key highlights. We've had like plenty of shots and stuff, as you can see. And both sides have had enough shots. They, they're they controlling possession and stuff like that. But there's just literally been no highlights. It's gone straight to, it's gone like through. I've just been sat here in silence waiting for it, something to come up, nothing. It's gone right through 45 minutes and um, yeah, we're at nil nil at half time. So, Let's see if the second half can at least bring something. Well, we have. It's straight away from the kickoff uh, um, at half time. We've got we have got an actual highlight, and we're putting pressure here on the back line of um, PSG. But they've managed to get out, and Grimaldo now is able to go down this like um, left hand side for them as Raheem Sterling cuts inside now, and he's still going. And luckily for us, it was a weak shot, and Horn is able to gather it. And now maybe we can go the other way, unless Oli Clay like makes a mistake there, but he hasn't. And that is the end of the highlight. So I'm going to make some changes. I can see there's a few 6.4 players in there. Um, I think we need to, to change things and bring on some players that are going to maybe um, trouble their keeper because it, we, we, we're having the shots and stuff, but we're obviously not troubling their keeper. Let's see if these changes um, can break through their like, you know, defensive wall. And we've got a throw in here with Cruz to Keener. Knocks it back inside, finds a reefy. Here's Upa Meccano now. 
plays it out to this wing. And here is Ollie Watkins, fresh on. What can he do from here? He's gone for this. Oh, wow, I thought that was in. I honestly thought that was in. Wow, what an effort there. So I was humming and ahhing about my final change. I've decided to take Keener off. Um, one, because he's on a 6.5 and also his fitness, but... What, Ollie Clay is like on the worst fitness and I'm thinking like but he is the captain and stuff and I'm just thinking yeah hopefully he can stay to the end and not pick up an injury and I think Appleby will make more of a change and up front and be more like fitness you know like with him having fresh legs he, he might be able to cause them problems change won't happen just yet because this highlight just literally came in before i decided to do that change so ollie clay now plays it into the box there's a great chance here and carl warner has put it away so we've managed to eventually break through psg and um, i'm really shocked that we've done so well against them to be honest um, i thought we'd um, struggle but yeah um, fantastic we can make that substitution now and hopefully we can see things out till the end here and um, cause maybe a bit of an upset you could say it was an upset maybe it's not over just yet as we've got about one and a half minutes left and Raheem Sterling now is on the ball PSG are going to probably do what West Ham did to us and get this late goal he's gone all the way here but luckily for us he um, puts it wide We've got control of the ball. Just keep hold of the ball, guys. We've got literally 30 seconds. What are you doing? Okay, Warner's going for it. And that's not maybe the best option. Just keep it in the corner. Played it across. Oh, no. And they've got the ball. See, this is why we should have just kept it right. Open Meccano. Just keep hold of the ball. Just don't, don't do anything silly. Don't do anything silly. Come on, guys. Just play it around. Keep hold of it. Just waste the clock down. There's no need to push on here. Come on. Slow it down. Uh, why is this ref not blowing the whistle? Come on. At least we've got control of the ball. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on. Why is he like... Oh, okay, there we go. Wow, okay. Um. Yeah, really fantastic amount of shots. I mean, yeah, it, maybe it was because we were at home and stuff, but we've maybe caused a bit of an upset there, I feel, Um. especially with the amount of money and stuff PSG has, like, you know. But, um. yeah, Carl Warner, well done getting the goal, and uh, eventually we broke, broke the deadlock. We had enough attempts to try and do so, but we did it in the end. Valencia getting a, a fantastic result against Porto, absolutely dominating that game. So um, Valencia is going to be probably the game, you know, um, that is going to cause us maybe an issue. Um, but we have to like get that result. We're at home against them. That's the main thing because, you know, I felt it was a bit bad that when we lost because of that weird... If you've not watched the episode, but it's a weird like sort of goal that they get like anyway. But um, yeah, I think Valencia probably top of the group now because of that. Yeah, we're as you can see, it's very very tight, isn't it? Like as you can see, all of us apart from Porto, we're all on six points. So it's anyone's, it's anyone's really. It's, uh, wow, the game against Valencia is going to be a huge one. It really is. If we can get, I mean, obviously it's not going to be in today's episode, but that result. I mean, we play. Do we play, hold on, what do we do here? We play PSG next. So we're away in France to play that one. Got a feeling that could be a loss, um, which Valencia will capitalise because they could beat Porto. So it's going to be tough. Yeah, that Chesterfield Valencia game um, on the 24th of November is going to be massive. We have to get a result there. An interesting episode, uh, yeah, like in the say, like, you know, we, we dropped points against West Ham, I thought we were going to drop points there against PSG, a fantastic result in the end when it comes to it, to getting that result, um, if we hadn't have got it, then I think we, we really, really, I think it would have been really, really tough to have got out of this. If we don't, there's always, we could probably drop into the Europa League um, and do that, I think it was maybe getting in the Champions League this season was maybe just one season too soon if you know what I mean like um but hey um it's not over yet anyway rather than me rabbiting on about this I'll let you guys go and um hopefully you'll join me for the next episode thank you as always for, for tuning in one of those will be massively appreciated and um all your feedback regarding Chesterfield England everything um, will be massively appreciated guys down in the comments like if you wouldn't mind and I will catch you on the next one it's Dave from Moomongo Gaming signing off cheers <laughs>